Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Kyra and I am here today with my very own tarot tag talking about what tarot decks I wish I lived in. This world kind of sucks a lot of the time. So I thought it would be super fun to sit down and go into imagination land and imagine I, if I could live in any world created in my decks. And this, I picked tarot. It, it could also be Oracle, but I did pick tarot for mine. So I have a pile of five tarot decks that I wish I lived in their world and one honorable mention because it's not my deck actually. So... <laughs> If you would like to take part in this, please, please do. And if you do, tag me, let me know um, you've taken part of it. So that way I can make make a playlist for the the tarot tag, living, hashtag living in tarot, hashtag my tarot homes. I'm going to start with my honorable mention because it belongs to my wife. And that is the Smoke, Ash, and Embers tarot. Uh, by, oh boy, by Three Trees Tarot. And I will try and remember to to uh, link all the decks in the description. Let me zoom us in. Shoop, there we go. Look at the pretty dragons. And it says right here, wander into a magical world where dragons do exist. Ah, created by Stephanie Burroughs, illustrated by Adam Ohlers. <sighs> Who wouldn't want to live in a world of dragons. Like, oh shoot, I have more I could mention. Okay, let's be real. I want to live in like all of my tarot decks, mostly, but I had to pick. And come on with the dragons. I want, I want to be able to go outside and see a dragon. Apparently Zariah shuffles in reversals. Um, I want to be able to go outside and see a dragon. I want to swim underwater and see a dragon. I want to ride a dragon and, and be the butterfly flitting around bothering dragons. I, so badly, like, why wouldn't you want to live in a world of dragons? I mean, sure, they breathe fire, but I, I like fire. I like to be toasty. This world created by Stephanie and Adam is just stunning. It's such a beautiful world. And these creatures in it are so enchanting and magical. I just, I, I just wish I lived there. And, and that's kind of a theme for, for most of these decks. Most, most of these decks are very immersive in that they have, um, they're like a whole world in and of themselves. They might be slightly adjacent to our world, because like, yeah, the nature here, the dragons, you could see this nature anywhere. But the dragons, however, the dragons tell me we've entered a new realm. And it is a realm I wish I lived in. <laughs> Very badly. See, there's the entry to the realm, with the fool. So... I just, like, they're just so damned cute. So, so that was really how I looked at it. I looked at, um, I looked at, I was looking for my immersive decks, but as we get into mine, I also picked my most, um, like, dramatic decks. So, cause like, I, I showed you this and I realized Man, I could have picked Tarot of the She. Spoiler alert, I didn't. Um, but I don't really... I don't really find myself looking at Tarot of the She and wonder, wishing I could live there. And that might be because of my first official pick. So that was the Smoke, Ash, and Embers by Three Trees Tarot, which is created by Stephanie Burroughs and illustrated by Adam Ohlers, the same creators of the Oak, Ash, and Thorn Tarot. This is the honorable mention because it is my wife's deck, not mine. 
Perhaps this deck is the reason why I didn't pick the Tarot of the She. My first deck, the deck, oh God. Oh, I wish, so this is, I, I wish I could live in this world. These are in no particular order except for the one I would most want to live in. Uh, and this is the Forest of Enchantment Tarot. Uh, this deck, there we go. This deck is like my perfect Feywild place. It's my perfect Venus aesthetic based on my Venus sign. My Venus sign is in Taurus. And here we just have this magical enchanted forest world. And I want to go. I want to frolic with the deers. I want to see the Fey. This is another world where dragons could be. I want to check out this abandoned witch house and learn from the wise woman. Oh my. Oh. So these decks could also be very good for like path working and um. Oh, what's the other word? I can't remember. But like, I want to live in this world so much that I'm using this deck as kind of. I'm trying to use this deck as inspiration for creating my house to feel more safe and cozy for me because this this magical world is so perfect and it's it's exactly the type of perfect that like you would swear if you wandered deep enough into the forest you would somehow find yourself here this is the stuff of fairy tales of i mean come on hansel and gretel this is the stuff of fairy tales, of legend, of, there's Hansel and Gretel again. Um, and I so badly want to live in this magical world. There's a card in here that is like my favorite. I've path worked with this card and it was intense. Um, this gets part of it, but dragon. I think it was the hermit. Yes, there it is. I want to live in a tree. These two, oops. Are just just stunningly perfect just so 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 stunningly perfect so if I could wish myself into a tarot deck for a little bit of an adventure I would this would be one of my first choices forest of enchantment tarot or enchanted forest look at the colors so good just so very good love it so much Uh, this bag is by the Crochet Witch Tarot Krista. I will make sure her Etsy shop is linked down below. Um, number two, I'm going to go with my Star Seeker Tarot. Again, these are in no particular order except for the last one. Now, this world, I mean, okay. Maybe you're not surprised because I talk about this deck all the time. There's a reason I'm extremely bonded to this deck. And this card is one of the things. This world touches ours again. And again, like the Forest of Enchantment, it has this feeling like if you just wander a little bit further than the ordinary constructs of life, you'll find this magical world. Because like here's someone looking and it's kind of like they're spotting a mermaid but it could be a whale tail, right? Um, there's magic and mystery, but it's still reachable in this really, really beautiful, unique way. And in this world, everyone, everyone knows their magic. 
And in this world, ritual is done outside and no one bats an eye. It's the witchy world of my dreams. Where I am safe and free to dive headfirst into life. Where I am allowed to slow down and, and take in the beauties of life without having to worry about, oh, I'm going to be late for work. Where people don't concern themselves with with those the little things the little things are taken care of where you can catch glimpses of the silhouette of death in the shadows and it's just enough not to scare you not to threaten you just enough to encourage you and remind you to keep on living I imagine the people in this world are extremely connected to their intuitive selves, to their emotional selves. They have moments where they slip, but they're connected and, and they care and they take care. And I really wish I could live there. So that's the Star Seeker Tarot. Um, next up is my Ganeshian Village Tarot. Okay. I cannot lie. I picked this one because it's cute. <laughs> I picked this one because I want to live in a world where there are adorable elephant people that I can be friends with. This... This deck, oh my gosh, it's extremely Rider Waite clone, but it's adorable elephants. So this is the only one that's maybe not necessarily its own, like, full immersive world like the others. Like, it still is a world, but, but it, I feel, I don't like it on that side. Boop. But it, but it's adorable elephants. It's Babar worlds. I loved Babar growing up. I want, I want, <laughs> I love this card. I want to play with the elephants. I want elephants to be my friends. I want to live in Babar world. This world kind of sucks sometimes. And I would love so much to take a vacation from it and go live in Babar land with the cute, adorable elephants to call my friends, to learn from, oh my God, to play with this this is the unexpected if you saw my tarot to the extremes which is linked up above in the cards um that video came out last week this is my unexpected perfect inner child deck because when i play with this i'm i'm like i'm a little kid watching babar again like i just i want to be friends with the elephants I just want to play with the elephants and it's really that simple it's really that simple that it's just this world brings me childlike joy and that's something I don't experience a lot and I would like to go back to moments where I experience childlike joy and I love elephants and I love Babar and these things are freaking adorable so please Please, 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 can I visit the Ganeshian Village Tarot and live in that world for just a little bit? Please? I wish. So that's number three. Number two. Don't know if you'll recognize this bag. Number two is my Dame Darcy's Witchy Cat Tarot. Oh my gosh. Okay. This, oh man, this world <laughs> would be so much fun to live in for so many reasons. Um, one, they're cats. These are cat people. 
And if you've ever owned a cat or watched memes of cats or videos of cats or gifts of cats, not memes, cats are dramatic. And the cats in this deck, the cat people in this deck are no, are no exception. This would be like living in a soap opera. Um, like, like if you've ever had the guilty pleasure of watching like a soap opera -y type show where everyone's just like dramatic or like, it'd be kind of like living in a world where everyone's doing the hammy overacting kind of thing. They are cats and they are so dramatic. It would be so much fun. I imagine this world would be full of laughter. I, I don't imagine I would want to live there for an extended period of time. But I imagine a lot of joy and a lot of drama and a lot of basking in the sunshine. Because also too, like, don't you sometimes wish you were a cat? No? Is it just me? It might just be me, but I sometimes wish I was a cat because my cat gets to nap all the time. My cat gets to do whatever the fuck it wants and it's perfectly fine. I love this Empress card. It's so, like, look at this sexy kitty. I, like, it's just so dramatic and so much fun the flare this this these people are full of flair and i want to meet them and listen to their ridiculous life stories and kind of want to watch it like a soap opera and it's such oh gosh it's it's such fun i just i think it would be a lot of fun to, to live with the cats and, and see what they got up to. I, I'd like to visit weekly to see what shenanigans had happened while I was away. Um, they're just so like, they're just so animated and don't you feel like you could like, these would be really in great characters in a show. Like, look at this six of swords. Look at this. They're so dramatic. I want to play with the cat people. So badly. It would be very fun to visit them. And, and I'm sorry, every time. Can we talk about this bag match? I'm like, what? It's the most perfect bag match. So that's it. Um, now's your chance. If you want to guess what my number one I wish I lived in this tarot deck deck is, now is your chance. You can pause the video. You can go and guess what my number one tarot home would be. Okay, have you guessed? Well, if you guessed the Boo Tarot, then you're smart and you pay attention and you've been here before and you are absolutely... 100 billion percent correct. Oh my gosh, this deck. This deck, oh. So all the, my, the majors have a sparkle. I did a really fun unboxing of this uh, live. It's up above in the cards. Oh my gosh. It was two hours long, but you know. I want to live in the ghost lands. It's magic. It's cozy. There's something about this deck that gives me all the right cozy vibes, which I think is very strange. But this deck, I... I want to be friends with the ghosts. The ghosts are my friends. This is like, this is like one of my favorite decks, animation art wise. I want to ride a bat. Don't you want to ride a bat like a ghost? 
Come on. Like, this deck is so magical. And the world that Celia Melsville create, created for it is adorable and deep and light. It is, it is very, it is a very well-rounded, well-balanced world of shenanigans. And they apparently have trick-or-treating, so I want to go. Uh, shenanigans and wonder and frivolity, joy, seriousness. They're just so damn, like... And I, again, I like that it touches this world, but it's different. And what it really boils down to is I want to live in a place where my spirit feels more free. And that's hard to do in our world, the way it's built, because, you know, bills and all this other nonsense we have to do. And so I guess the decks that really get me are the decks with creatures that I look at them and they look free. They look free. They they look like their life is in their control. Even in, on the shadowier appearing cards, they still... They look free. Like if I showed you the tower card, the tower card show... Like the, look at this guy. This is like, this is like a Magic Academy kind of feel, except if you were cute ghosts. Um, where's the tower? I guess we're just flipping through this whole deck because I love it so much. Um, they just, they don't have the same woes and heavy things on them. Here, here's the tower. Look at this. Even when you're up to mischief, the little fuckers set the thing on fire and they're thrilled with themselves. There's a freedom in this deck. There's a lightness in it. Not in, not to the point of ignoring the hard things, but in, to the point of feeling content. There's contentment. And I guess that's a thing all of my decks have in common is the feeling of contentment. The feeling of being at peace with and content in your world, which I don't know about you, but I have trouble with because there's a lot of things in our world that I don't think we should be content with. Um, but the Boo Tarot ghosts, they don't have those problems. And so I want to go and visit them and be friends. So there we have it. These are my tarot homes. If I was living in tarot, these are where you might be able to find me. So please, 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 I hope you uh, consider participating in this tag. This was a lot of fun, just sitting and gushing about how much I love the worlds created by these amazing artists and their amazing work. It's, and to see things that just make my, make me feel light and free. It's amazing. So this was a lot of fun. I hope you uh, decide to join me in this tag again. Please don't forget to let me know if you did. That's hashtag living in tarot, hashtag my tarot homes. Um, and as always, uh, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up to let me know if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell notification. So you can come on back nice and easily and join us for a new video. I do mostly tarot content and I throw in some astrology and journaling stuff. And beside the subscribe button, you'll find the join button where you can become a channel member of my channel. There's lots of tiers you can explore where we have different perks for new videos, um, lives, etc. All the details are down there in that join button that you can check out. Uh, and down in the description box, there should be links to these, hopefully. Um, if there's not, let me know. I want to try and work on doing that better. Um, but you can find the link to 
my website where you can book a reading and such with me and check out my services. My email is there so you can send me an email if you have any questions about anything or would like to request a video. And in the comments down below, let me know if you're not going to do this tag with a video, you can do this tag in the in the comments. What are your tarot homes? What tarot could we find you living in? Um, and of these, which would you pick to live in? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm going to let you go here, and I will see you again soon. Lots of love. Bye.